right then, the last legs of the journey now. Right in front of me, through the gate there, you can see the tower of the farm area. Storage silos. Straight through there. I don't know if I've got I'll try and zoom in. Wait a minute. I took a picture with the camera a minute ago. Um, is it through there or through there? There, look, see? So it's just a final run now. A bit of a muddy walk that was, but I've managed to clean my boots up. There was a handy puddle. But of course it doesn't mean there isn't mud to come. But that bridle path is the worst. So although my boots are dirty, they're not too bad. They were absolutely plastered a minute ago. Anyway, basically, we're going across the fields that I don't usually come through in the summer, even though I'm not totally scared of horses. They can come galloping up to you sometimes, in a friendly way. So I tend to go round a different route when the horses are here. So I take, I make the most of the season of the non-cow and the non horse but I know where a boggy air is going to be at the end of this walk just before we get to the towers there's a very very mucky pathway that probably is worse than it was last time I came a couple of weeks ago so I've got now risk another in a minute quite muddy area Every time I go near something, I just clean a bit more my boot. And if you see any moss or anything like that, you can give it a bit of a clean. So I've got to go in Tesco's yet. Yeah, now I don't know what they've done with all the horses. They don't seem to have any out in the winter. Some people do, but... Yeah. Quite often I usually come from the other direction. Just put a bit more water on the boot. Just give it a bit more clean. I quite often come from the other direction. Right, we've probably got a bus is probably just left here, which will be the two o'clock one. I'm just going to check. Time goes really fast. Um, it's six minutes past two. We've got exactly one hour to get to the bus stop. Now, in theory, we should be able to do it from here. Unless there's any reason to distract me now. Like having to go through a really bad bog and very mucky shoes. And when you're trying to balance for a bog, it can take time. So, though you think you've got a good hour and it can take 20 minutes just going through the bog bit, a couple hundred yards or less than that, that will add on to your time. Now I was just poking around trying to get a bit of bread or something out from this crevice in my bad old filling I got. And a bit of tooth came off with filling attached. Gradually sort of coming apart this tooth. Uh, I haven't been able to see a dentist for about a year and a half. Last time I spoke to them about an appointment, I had to wait. It was in like May, I think. They told me I had to wait until March 2024. Well, 2024 is here. But I still got two months to wait. I can't turn down the appointment, even though it cost me 30 quid just for him to look in my gob. 
and I don't particularly want them poking about. They always do more damage. But I don't want to not have a dentist, just in case. I do have serious problems like another abscess or something. Right, if somebody come in with a child, I'm just going to turn off a minute. I don't know if he's coming or going. I think he's looking to see if it's safe to walk here. You can go either way here. You can either go that way or up along here. I can hear you, goatee. Goats live here. Yeah. Hello. Come on then. Come and say hello. Hello. How are you? Oh, you all on your own? Oh dear. Got your bell on? Got your bell on? Hey? Look at you. You're smart. I got a ghost. I got to catch a bus. I got nothing to eat. No? Hello? Shall I take a picture of you? Look at you, hello! Oh, look at you! Let me see, wait a minute! Yeah! Wait a minute, I've got to see if I can get a picture of you. Wait! No, I've got you on video though. Alright, I'll see you later. Bye! Bye, Cody! I ain't got no food. Oh, there's another one. He's a real old goat, isn't he? There's another one coming. Mummy goat. <laughs> that last bit of whatever it was, bread, I think, has come out of that gap. Took a bit of moving. Could have even a bit of old chicken I had the other day. I'm 72 today. My teeth are, most of my teeth are in good condition, really. These are big old molars that weren't taken care of when I was a child. Um, my mum was not strict enough with us when we were kids. With rules of teeth cleaning. It was my own dentist called Dr. Payne. Or well, Mr. Payne, he was called. <laughs> P-A-Y-N-E. He, uh, he really insisted I take care of my teeth. He gave me a couple of toothbrushes and my own toothpaste. And he was always kind to me when I went. So I, I was never, all my life, been frightened of a dentist. He was really good and he always explained what he was doing. And he was sincere. That bit of tooth that's just fallen out might actually be make it easier for won't it? That bit of tooth, that bit of filling that's just fallen out would probably help me get the bits of bread and stuff that gets stuck in my teeth these days. <sighs> a little sign that 0.5 kilometres. 
to Sand Bay. Now this is a field, this, the reason I don't come this way very often is because before now when I've come in here in the past I bumped right into a herd or a huge bull and I've had to turn back and it's somebody coming that's why I don't mind doing it this time of year Yes, thank you. Just, have you got your wellies on? Yes. Yeah, I've just got my boots clean from another Ooh. place. Well, you're going to have to do the same again. Yeah, but I've, I've not as bad as up there where they were really covered. I managed to get my foot off. Yeah, you've done a good job. Yeah. yeah there was a couple of puddles. <laughs> <laughs> have a good one. Yeah, thank you. Anyway, like I, like I was saying, What I was saying was, this field here, in the season of the cow, is full of cows. <laughs> okay, you only get a couple of months every year where you can come in here and they'll have calves when they come in here. So normally I, I, I don't come this, in this direction in the summer because it's further for me to walk back. So I would start my walk coming through here and if I saw, if when I got to the gate there I saw lots of cows here, I would turn back and go up the beach and I would do a different walk, which wouldn't mean coming through this way. If there's no cows in here, you're usually all right, there's, there's no problem. But I have bumped into a huge bull. I got as far, I think he was sat, he was, it was no cows, it was just a bull. Massive. He was sat there, up there by the hedge. I got, I think, to about here and he stood up. And he, he had one eye on me. And that was how far the gate was. The gate I wanted to was there, but he was there. So I slowly withdrew back. Do you know what I mean? So I'm always, it was a bit of a surprise just seeing him sat there on his own, but he was big and he did get up and he could have run at me. Now my, some of my thoughts were, right, you're going to have to dive in the hedge because I had thought, can I inch my way along and avoid him, get to the gate, but he was too close. It was too risky. The ditch wasn't as high. Well, I had to turn back. I've had to turn back several times. I've come that way and got to that gate, looked over. It's just too dodgy. Because they, they, they do give you a type of roar of the cows if they got cast and they stamp their feet at you. As if to say, you keep out. And I do. I respect them. Right then. Here's a nice muddy splurge. Look. But I'll be able to get through that just. But we've got a muddy, splurgy area to get through now until the towers. This is what could take 20 minutes. Okay, this could be a big chunk of my time to get for that three o'clock bus. Right, over and out for now while I get through this. Um, <clears throat> let's just put that on. I'll, hope, I'll keep it on actually. What I have to do is a bit of thing now. Put your foot. Oh, there we go. Um, fence is falling apart. You see that? Bloody fence fell over. Oh, get the tap by brambles. See if you've got long legs. This is easy. But from now on, back to the towards the tower, it's mud galore. And worse than last time. See, look at this. Mud galore. So what I have to do is spread my legs and walk, swinging from side to side, so I don't get my boots covered in mud. So I have got to go on a bus, and I have got to go in Tesco's. 
there's no guarantee there'll be a puddle up here for me to wash. Now this isn't over, just because it's going to dry for a short period now, there's worse to come further up. So we're not over it. We're not over it at all, because what's worse about the bit to come is water. Bog and water that will cover your boots. Okay, it's always mucky round gateways. See, look how spurred it is. You have to do sideways movements. They don't look after their pedestrians here. I've got a feeling somebody's coming this way. I'll get through this narrow bit before they come. Yeah, somebody coming. That's it. Which way are they going? I'm going to turn off for a bit 